United Nations Sustainable Develop Goals allude to a global transformation that will occur, a geological shift. This shift is expected to occur by 2031, which is why one of the primary agendas of United Nations is Agenda 31. Although United Nations hides behind quote-unquote geological shift, there is an expected societal and spiritual shift. One of UN's goals is inclusiveness in religion, a new age concept of spirituality. This is an obvious agenda with the rise of false religion, worship of idols occurring in frequency worldwide. The increase in false religion also can be correlated to the theorized population agenda of United Nations. The art of witchcraft, black magic, cultures, tribes has always been competitive. Therefore naturally would cause chaos and war amongst people, especially when the systems are based on ancient tradition. United Nations is essentially promoting a new age system in which the world is interconnected via technology. Then again, what is United Nations really doing? Is their goal to unite only the earthly nations, or both the earthly nations and the demonic kingdom? It's also interesting that UN seems to be preparing for plagues and famines that will seem to pose a threat to Earth. Almost as if they are expecting the judgments to occur. So let's analyze United Nations some more and see what they are really about, because SDG 16.9 is about universal identity. Which is another major clue about United Nations and the scope of their Agenda 21-31. Leave no one behind is also another important factor, implying that the entire planet will be within the accessibility of Agenda 31.